three Republican senators signed on to a letter opposing raising the debt ceiling without budget reforms, and 217 members in the House voted for that bill to raise the debt limit with cuts to spending. Does the White House consider all of those members to be dangerous MAGA Republican extremists? Way to go, Jackie. It's about time reporters started calling this Biden administration out on actual policies. All they do is respond with name calling. They never have any answers to anything. So this is good to see. Do they understand what the cuts that they're voting for is going to do? Do they do? That's the question. I mean, Republicans in Congress, in the House specifically, voted for cuts that's going to hurt American families. I mean, we can't say this enough. 22 percent cuts to veterans, health care, schools. That's what they voted for. That's what and, and this is not OK, but this is not this is not just this is their constituents. This is what they voted for. And, and those constituents that they're voting on behalf of have said that they're concerned about their retirement, about the effects of inflation. And those members represent more than half of the country in the House. I mean, those, that's the majority of, of districts in the country, that they're voting on behalf of those constituents who are expressing concern about where the economy is. So I guess, how can the White House continue to use messaging calling this the Default on America Act um, and, and paint this legislation in, in such a way without having a, a conversation about the budget um, when you've got half the country saying that they want that conversation. Because they want to hold the American economy hostage. Because that's what they're saying that they want to do by threatening, uh, by threatening a default. Their bill would raise the debt limit. They passed a bill to raise the debt limit. So they're, the They've connect, and I hear you, but they are connecting, passing whatever, this debt limit to cuts, 22% cuts to veterans, to seniors. That's what they are threatening, cuts to our schools. That's what the, twi- that's what is connecting. That's what their budget plan is. The bill doesn't have any appropriations in it, actually. And the, the speaker has, you know, ruled out a number of those things, including defense, veterans benefits, senior entitlement programs. When you have Mitt Romney saying that there has to be a conversation here, is he a MAGA Republican extremist? 